Hi, this is Ralph. In this video, I'm going to take a few minutes to check out Google Docs, in particular, working with documents in Google Docs. It's been around for a couple years now, and I'm pretty happy with it. I've been using Google Docs a lot more to keep track of things, including uh, Google Docs, including their spreadsheet app, too. And it's, I'm hesitant to say that it's even the best web-based app out there, but it's certainly easy to use. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go ahead and create a new document. And I want to look at a couple of the options up here, especially some of the slightly more customizable things. And a straightforward document, and a lot of these buttons should be pretty self-explanatory based on your use with other document processing programs like Microsoft Word, so we could know what bold, italics, underline, font color, uh, background color, highlight color. You could insert hyperlinks and things like that. So let's go do a couple things, and I'm going to use some styles here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, heading one style, and this will be my uh, document title. I'll press enter. And let's see, I'll do a heading two style, and this will be my section one title. I'll press enter, and it'll drop back to, uh, to normal, actually, in here. And I'll just go ahead and put in some text. This is some regular text in here. And let me just do a quick little copy. And I'll paste that a few times. There we go. Okay, so I've got the start of a document here. And let's start off with some of the very basic things. Um, I will go ahead and uh, select some regular text. I'm going to make it a hyperlink. I'll just click the link button, type in the URL. Server CNN.com. There we go. And there's my text, regular text. Insert. And now that's going to be a hyperlink in my document, so that's pretty easy to do. Okay, so there's some basic tools. Um, let's see, before I get too far, let me go ahead and uh, click on File and Rename. I'll go ahead and save this document. This will be a, a simple practice document for YouTube. Click OK. And I must have accidentally pasted up there, so let me just go ahead and fix that. Okay, so there's some basic tools right in there. Now let me go through, and I'm going to mess around with styles, and this is really a web page, and Google does give us some very limited you know, control of this. For instance, I can go to the Edit menu, and there's Edit HTML. And I can see some of the HTML in here. For instance, I can see there's my document title, there's my section title. Now I'm actually a little bit unhappy with this. I'm not sure what happened with my formatting, but notice that it's using div tags and a font tag with a class, and it's not actually using an H1 tag. So I'm going to cancel this for a moment. Let me select this text. Try this again. Heading 1. There we go. So now if I go into Edit and Edit HTML, there we go. So now I can see a H1 tag. See there's also a bold tag in there? That's a problem. And this is, I've found, I've been using Google Docs a lot, and it is a little bit buggy sometimes, especially working with tables and background colors, and I'm actually using the Google Chrome browser, so you think it'd work flawlessly. It's still not so bad that it's keeping me from using the program, though. And let me go ahead and click Update. So you really don't notice any change here. But let me show you another thing. If you if you know cascading style sheets, it kind of opens up a little bit more control for you. So I can go to the Edit menu and Edit CSS. And if you know the basic CSS syntax, I can take something like a Heading 1, which I have, curly braces, and I can start to do things with it, like text align right, border bottom, two picks solid, and blue, and font style italic. So I'm going to do these few things, and these are going to be to my H1 element or my H1 tag. I'll click OK, and there you go. Now my heading 1 is pushed over there. Let me go and do a couple more changes to that. I'll do Edit, Edit CSS, Font Weight Normal, and that'll get rid of the bold. And there we go. And, of course, you can do these kinds of things with your Heading 2 and so forth. And to better use those styles, I'll go ahead and format this text right here, which was a div, if you remember when I looked at the HTML, I'll format that as a normal paragraph. And we don't really see any change here, but if I go to Edit, Edit HTML, I can see it's now using a paragraph tag to hold that text instead of div tag, and that's going to be, that's going to be better. So now I can cancel out of that. And I could go into Edit, 
edit CSS and create a CSS rule for my paragraphs. And for something like this, let's see, maybe I'll do a text indent 2M and click OK, and that'll give me a little paragraph indentation. So Google Docs, not I wouldn't even call it the, a full featured word processor, but it's certainly got a medium set of features, and it's a really useful tool for sharing documents with multiple groups of people. For instance, once I've got my document created here, I can go to their share option, and there's something that I do quite a bit. I do share publish as web page. So then I can hit publish as web page. I usually choose this automatically republish. And it's going to put it on Google server and it gives me a web address for that document. And then you can just provide people that web address. So you could actually create a resume or something like that in here. And anybody could go to it on the web, especially useful if you don't have your own web space. So you just grab that URL, put it in your uh, resume or in the footnote or in the um, signature for your emails, and you got it. And if you make any changes to the document, you don't have to reissue a new web address. It's automatically updated. So that's a really great way to share uh, an online document with a whole bunch of people. Um, and I'll go back to editing. I'm going to go back on share. And of course, there's also the option to invite people. So you can put in some email addresses for specific people. And they can either be viewers or editors of your document. Really good if you're working on a group project. So you can have multiple people edit this. Okay, but I'll go ahead and uh, close out of that. So that's a few basics with uh, Google Docs. Really useful and if you uh, pick up some basic cascading style sheet syntax you can do a little bit more formatting and then a, certainly a nice way to share your documents.